Okay, where did we leave off? Let's see here. These aliens are jerks. Some of them are okay. Ian's better. A monster, potentially, is going to attack the doctor. I think that pretty much is it. So, without further ado, let's get to more Classic Who. I'm gonna watch with you just like I always do. Hey. Just as I thought, Atropa Belladonna, Atropa. Deadly Nightshade. Right where we left off. Kidnap! What is it, Ian? We must find him. Are you all right? Yes. Lean on me. Get away from me! Get away! Here, help me to get him out of here. Look at the state he's in. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Collect up his things. We don't want to hang around here. It's going away. Ian, Ian, what do you think this is? Hmm? I don't know. Part of an old lighting system, I suppose. Don't worry about that now. Oh. Let's get him out of here. Oh. Oh. Before that thing comes back. We didn't get the antidote. I had to go all the way back to the laboratory and get some more. What? Yes. Surrounded by enemies. Yes, true. True. And water. And those monsters in there. And now it appears that there's someone... He's figuring it out. ...that bears ill will. That's two separate enemies. Don't you mean three? No, 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 no. No, don't mistake me. The water and those monsters are distinctly connected. I've more or less solved that problem. I'm impressed! The sensor I choose against us is a much greater danger. Now, I suggest... There's some real... And try and find out which one it is. There's some real deducting <laughs> here, like genuinely what? real, impressive deducting. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. It must be illusion. Our society is based upon trust. Treason or secret plotting is impossible. That's rather a sweeping statement. But why should a censorite make any secret plans against anyone? We have the perfect society. All are contented. Some people always want more than others. That is a human value, surely. Perhaps. Yeah. It's quite now, John. It won't be long. It's, it's unfortunate that some people want always always want more than others. To explain something to me earlier. We discovered long ago that in our brains there were many different compartments or divisions. When fear and alarm is at work, that section becomes open. A veil is lifted. Do you understand? Yes. That is what happened to the man John. But the veil will not lower itself. Thus, he is constantly afraid, even when he's at peace. When he's asleep, for example, the body says one thing, the brain the other. I just realized you don't need to Thus do that, but you don't. condition, utter confusion. And this treatment you're giving him is in order to close down that veil? Yes, not permanently, of course, or he would step into danger without concern. The veil must function normally again. It's rather like an eyelid, isn't it? Oh, these shutters over my eyes. <laughs> yes. To see all the time is not a good thing. Now... We must begin. That's deep. I'll be here all the time, John. See all the time is not a good thing. Yes, that's right. I must tell you. What must you tell us? It's so difficult. Soon you'll be able to tell me all you found out. Well, you've been exerting yourself, boy, and naturally you're weak. He can rest now, though, can't you, Grandfather? We'll force him to. I wish you two had stopped fussing over now, me. Now, 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 you must do as you're told, mm. and that is that. Isn't that one of the elders? It's the second elder. He's only got one sash. Now, take it easy. I want a word. I say, you, sir. Sir, I I'd like a word with you. It's a funny place down here, isn't it? What about up there? I wonder how Barbara's getting on. Mm, I wish she were down here with us. I wish we were up there in the TARDIS and away from here. Indeed. Tell I know what you mean. Hey. We ask the first elder if Barbara can come down and join us. Here. Yes. <laughs> I feel like someone should <laughs> always man the TARDIS regardless. Someone should always just remain in there. Sure, you we was very mobile, my child. 
Come along, let's get into the first elder's room. <laughs> I mean, because then they'd probably be able to open the door. Well, maybe hands. not in this situation. Now! Now I have the power! Stop him, you fool! Has broken it. The second elder is dead. The only other firing key is in the possession of the first elder. Then we shall have to give up. We must leave Aww, the city. That sucks. Hide in the mountains. The second elder was great. Don't be foolish. The death of the second elder can help us, not condemn us. We must act quickly. You know the man called the doctor. Yes. You can describe him. Yes. Good. Then I will outline my plan to you. The city administrator wishes to speak. Urgently, sir. A story has been put before me that you should hear. Now? It concerns the second elder and these earth creatures. Very well. Hands up. Jerk. Tell your story. Sir. The second elder is dead. He was killed in the courtyard. I saw the man who killed him. The man? Yes, sir. It was the man called the doctor. Well, that's not true. The senior warrior here has evidence. Speak. I met the second elder in the courtyard as he ordered me to. I gave him the firing tea key of the disintegrator. Then I saw the doctor go after wow. the second elder. Yes, I did that, but I didn't kill him. I saw you. You wrestled for possession of the firing key. There is the firing key, belt as though in a struggle. And finally, when the second elder resisted, you took an object from inside your coat and struck him down and killed him. Ah. This is a grave charge. But obviously untrue, sir. Why? How did you recognize the doctor? His hair is different. Yes? So are his clothes. Oh, yes, his clothes. You say that you saw him take an object from his pocket? Yes. You could see quite clearly. You sure it was from his coat pocket? I tell you, yes. All the sensorites know the doctor by his... The doctor's coat is outside the aqueduct. You are lying. Then, then it, it was a cloak he was wearing. Yes, it was. I'm sure of it now. It was a cloak. I have just presented the doctor with that cloak. Your story is <gasps> tissue of lies. Yeah! Remove him. Nice. That was awesome. That was great. I shall interview you. Myself. Yes, of course, sir. We have no wish to interfere in your affairs. But the uh, city administrator appears to have all the qualifications. Well, what do you say? Can you accept such power, such authority? No. My only ambition is to serve the censor right nation. Wow. Then accept this sash. I make you my advisor. From now on, you will be known as the second elder. Second only on the sense fear to me. And once this order is made... Sucks. Only a betrayal of trust can set it aside. My new advisor and I have much to discuss. You will excuse us? Certainly, sir. My companions and I will pay a visit to the man John and note his progress. Oh, you were going to ask about Barbara? I don't think this is quite the moment. I'll ask later. All right. Hmm. Oh, and uh, congratulations. When you address one of the elders, you call him sir. That will go quickly. It's easy now. Carol. Carol's her name, okay. You're crying. I'm all right. Really, I am. Glad that these names just stick just around after all this time. Maybe they for came so back long. into trends. But we can't have you crying, can we? I'm all right now. I'm all right. That pain's gone quite suddenly. Was it awful? 
Yes, it was. Well, well, what a happy scene. Hmm? Do you remember us? I remember you distinctly. Well, I'm Ian, and this is the Dr. Susan's grandfather. I'm glad to see you don't bear a grudge against the Centrites for the past. All that matters now is the present. Splendid. Now, sir, the antidote. I wonder if... I remember another girl. Oh, hmm? that's Barbara. We both found you. She's up in a spaceship. Oh, I see. John, all the time you were ill, you were trying to warn us of something. Hmm. There was a sensor right here who was dangerous. I must try and remember what happened. I know there was a plot. Yes, that's it. Someone was plotting against you. And this sensor right, can you identify him? No. Is he in this room? No. There was something particularly odd about his clothes, I remember, <laughs> but exactly Yes, what it I... must have been the sensor right who has just died. Yes. I suppose it must. The first elder wishes to talk to the doctor. Boy. You will inform him. This dude what? just shows up right at the he right moment for everything, doesn't he? Well, he's only just become second elder. I should think he's trying out his new authority. Mm. I wouldn't like to cross him. It's no use telling him stories about the second elder, Doctor. We've got to give him proof. Yes, I quite agree. And the only way to get that proof is to go back into the aqueduct. Mm. What about Susan? Look, why don't you ask the first elder if we can have Barbara down here again? A good idea. Gentlemen. Be seated. <clears throat> well, sir, the doctor and I have discussed this poison business, and we are convinced that your water supply is being deliberately poisoned. Yes, and what we propose to do, sir, is to go down into the aqueduct, find your enemies, and stop them. Very well. But you will take light with you, and such arms as we can provide. Mm. Thank you. We are making progress. Barbara. Uh, we have a companion, a young lady on the ship. Uh, is it possible for her to be brought down here in the sense sphere? Hmm? It will be arranged. Oh, splendid, sir. Yeah, I was wondering splendid. where Barbara was. It's been a while I since we've seen her. Weapons, sir. Uh, thank you, warrior. Instruct them as to their use. Hmm. The plan of the aqueduct. Change some of the routes on this and see that the messenger delivers it to the doctor. It shall be done. Now, not only shall they go down into the aqueduct with useless armaments, but they will be hopelessly lost as well. Very simple to use, doctor. Yeah, careful. The range <laughs> is considerable. The ray paralyzes up to a distance of 30 yards. Yes, yes, splendid. And remember, dear boy, that I shall be standing nearly next to you. I've never liked weapons at any time, however they're handy little things. Tell me, how long does this paralysis last? One hour. Fine, fine. But these weapons are splendid, sir. And without a doubt, they'll help us to make success. And yet, I do not envy you your adventure. I still wish I could dissuade you. Yes, and that brings me to another problem. My granddaughter, Susan. She's bound to want to come with us. I don't think she ought to, Doctor. No, I quite agree with you, my boy. We must go and not tell her and save any arguments. We must wonder, go sir, and you not mind keeping a small secret until we're well and truly away. Very well. Yes, thank you. After all, there's no danger now. We have these protectors, and I'm sure we can settle our little business in an hour or two. Ah. The map of the aqueduct. Oh, excellent, excellent, my dear sir. Well, yes. <sighs> let's go and make an end of it, Doctor. Now you're quite sure you're up to it. Quite. Splendid. Lead the way. Sir. I wonder where they're up to, where they've gone to. I wonder what they're talking about all this time. Oh, I expect they're arranging for our return into the spaceship. I think I'll go over to the palace of the elders and try and hurry them up. Oh, would you, Carol? Thank you. Tell them I'm starving. All right. John, I, I'm so happy that you're better now. So's Carol. Well, you can see that for yourself. Mm, she's had a bad time. You know, I have a feeling that we'll both give up space traveling when we get back to Earth. Oh, and get married? Mm. She's all I really care about. Come on, let's eat. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> ah, all right, here we go. Okay, well, I mean, that seems to be the title of the episode being called Kidnap really 
more applies to how it ended, I think, than anything. A lot has transpired in this episode. The big jerk has kind of more sealed his fate as the second leader. <laughs> the second, uh, yeah. Anyway, so if he's in this position now openly, at least it does bring the attention to the fact that one of the censorites did the killing. It was such a glorious moment though when, when I was like, oh, he's gonna get away with this now too. And then, ah, oh, it's very impressive. This whole episode was chock full of the doctor and Ian deducing a lot of obvious things. And even actually the censorites themselves, they've deduced a lot, they've figured out a lot and they're like, well, clearly this means this and this means this. So obviously, it's very impressive, and maybe this is the thing that made people love Doctor Who in the first place, is this deduction and the thought process that goes into it. It's just enjoyable. I really, really felt it in this episode that I think I felt in prior episodes. Because a lot of the times, at least in prior episodes, the villains aren't very smart necessarily, other than the Daleks. But yeah, you can fool them pretty easily. And these Sensorites, they're smart. I'm actually really disappointed. And again, maybe they do show up later and I'm just unaware of it. But am I, am I stupid for not knowing? I don't, maybe I am, I don't know. I know that there's an alien Reese, a Reese, an alien race that reminds me of them, who also have the little thing cords from the later series, but I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be them or if the, this is something different. Either way, I'm really into the Sensorites and I, I'm i gonna have to look up and see if they're in other stuff because I, I dig them. At first I didn't, but I've really grown to love them because I just think they're smart and I love, I love how both sides come at this with such great deduction. The writer of this, very, very impressed with. So bravo to you for writing such an awesome story arc with a lot of great questions, and a lot of things that you don't think of. Even the subtle things, you know? Like when one of the Sensorites says it, it's not always good to see everything or to see all the time. It's great, I love that. Could be so many inner meanings built into that. I hope that we get more stuff written by this guy. I don't know if we will or not. Peter something I think his name is but I'm really digging this a lot. And Peter R. Newman, bravo, seriously. I'm sure I already noticed, I mentioned this, noted this earlier, but in an earlier episode, I mentioned that Peter R. Newman was the director. Obviously he's not the director, he's the writer. I think the director of most of these so far have been Mervyn Pinfield, and I, this last one was by Frank Cox. So we have one more, yeah, by Frank Cox. But I'm excited, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what happens. And also, I hope we catch up with Barbara finally, because where's she been? <laughs> like, she's been gone for a while. Anyway, until next time, when this dude does it again. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel and our other channel, youtube.com slash fanning out. You can also support us by watching full length reactions and more at patreon.com slash fan theory TV. And we have a merch store where you can buy all kinds of goodies at teespring.com slash store slash fan theory TV.